This is Nick Baisley from Film Snobbery here at the First Glance Film Festival of Hollywood, and who am I here with? Oh, I'm Kevin Williams. I'm one of the post-producers on the short film Wolunda. Tell them a little bit what Wolunda is about. Uh, Wolunda is based on the early life of Carl Wolunda, of the Flying Wolunda's a famous trapeze act. Uh, that's, this takes place in 1920. It's uh, Carl Wolunda getting his first performing gig with Louis Weitzman, who's an early mentor. Uh, the interesting thing about this was we had 250 visual effects shots. We recreated uh, 1920s Germany, a circus, a theater, the interior of a bar, uh, and that in and of itself was a pretty amazing feat. Uh, and so that's where my role came in, was kind of uh, designing that and pushing those shots through. And is this the first time you've been put in that position, or is this something you went to, say, film schools for, or do you do it as a day job? Uh, I work in visual effects as a professional, mm -hmm. uh, mostly working with planning visual effect shots and then uh, helping the vendors execute them to the director's vision. So it was great. There was two post producers, myself and Gresham Lochner, and being able to actually sit with the director, VW, and uh, all the way through planning and editorial and getting everything final, it really let digital production come into its own at a short film level. We've seen big feature films that have 800, 1200 visual effect shots for two hours. This is a 20 minute film where nearly every shot was touched in some way uh, digitally. Now, because digital effects and all that are becoming more prevalent, because it's a lot, you know, for, for most independent filmmakers, it's a, it's a cheaper alternative to doing, to renting sets or to, you know, getting a bunch of stuff. But what is the key, you think, to making it look realistic, to making it, you know, really getting the bang for the buck out of it? Uh, that's a good question. I know. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that we found was that we had a lot of flexibility, and then we also looked to the real world counterparts. Mm -hmm. So uh, working directly with the cinematographer and discussing the types of physical lights that he used, we were able to do uh, a much closer digital simulation and an approximation of how that lighting would work. Um, I think that you know the technology has gotten better and better. It's become more accessible to artists, people who have a really good eye, more so than maybe uh, a deep understanding of the science behind it. And because of that, we're able to direct uh, a lot of visual effects artists in completing the shots and breaking it down in a way that uh, everyone's very clear on what needed to happen. We Did had a very large crew on, on this short film, uh, over 300 digital visual effects artists. So. Wow, and, and for an independent uh, short film, um, how does one go about getting that many people on board something that may or may not be seen by the mass audience? A lot of the people who wanted to work on this were looking for experience in breaking in. Um, so we even ran it as kind of an apprenticeship program. People could come in, see how it was done. Gresham and I, while we had experience uh, working in the visual effects industry, this was our, our big chance to show what would happen uh, to supervise it. Uh, and I think that, that made for a very interesting opportunity for all sorts of people. And a lot of the people who helped out have gone on to work. Uh, on much bigger visual effects shows, they've gotten involved uh, with either vis bigger visual effects shows, even some stereoscopic work, uh, and it, that's been really great to see them go on and be able to use the work that they did on Wolanda that was so fantastic to help uh, further their own career. Now, it seemed like a lot of, on the shoot, was a lot of people learning new things um, or expanding upon what they've already been doing. What do you think is the most important thing you learned during the shoot? I think just being able to uh, to see how, how a large crew functions, you know, uh, you're not as involved with each individual shot or each little task, but you see how everything's coming together, and then you have to think in the future, like what do I need to happen today so that two weeks from now we'll have what we need. Uh, we also were dealing with people who are maybe working in different locations or different schedules, so you had to be thinking further ahead, doing a lot more planning, so that everything would be set up, so that when they had time to work on it, they could just sit down, hammer it out, and get it as close as possible to the director's vision in the first try. Well, speaking of planning, I know you planned on seeing some movies here at the First Glance Film Festival today, so we're going to go let you do that, but I want to thank you very much for coming and talking to us here on the red carpet, and uh, much success for the, uh, hope you get an awesome crowd today for Willenda. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.